Hey guys, today we are going to go over the five war speculations in Shadows over Innistrad. Mainly, the reason is the prices are way too expensive right now pre-ordering for most of these cards, and they will plummet. Not because these cards are bad cards. The first card we're going to look at is Thing in Ice. This is a card that has been hyped up to Oblivion. It's $20 for a non-mythic. Very few cards. The only cards I can think of on top of my head that's held $20 would be the fetch lands and they're fetch lands and they, they barely hit $20 right would you rather have a fetch land or this card I like it I don't want to take anything away from it but $20 for a pre-order on uh, out of stock that means a lot of people are buying this card for $20 will it hold its price I really don't believe so I feel like this card will tank and even if control is good, this card should still tank. Now, that gets us to the next card, Jace. Again, it's sold out at $30, so I don't want people to say, oh, well, no one's buying it. Yeah, people are buying it, and yes, these cards are sold out. So $29.99 for Jace seems high to me. Uh, Jace is 5 he costs 5 That is a lot. I love his ability, but unless we're going to super control... Late game, board wipe type of control, I don't see him having as much impact as Small Jace. Now, Small Jace is still $80, $90, and at one point was close to 100 if not over 100 This Jace just does not do enough, in my opinion. Yes, he is sold out on Star City Games. Yes, his price seems to be ticking up, but no, I mean, he only fits in one kind of deck. And that kind of deck... Even if it's good, is he worth $30? I don't believe so. Nahari. So this is the one card that I have my doubts about. It could either be really good or really bad. But at $20, I don't see much growth for this card. $20 is hard to grow for, for any Mythic. Um, it's just very difficult to do. If you look at the Mythics in Battle for Zendikar, Oath of the Gate, Watts, there's about maybe one or two Mythics that hit over $20 retail. Nohari, I love her. I want to love her, and she resembles a princess, but at 20 bucks, I'm going to stay away from her. I'm going to wait for her to fall down a little bit. Her abilities, while okay, aren't the best. If you're the aggro Boros deck, what you, you plus, plusing her is not really going to do you very much. Destroying stuff, not that relevant. Her ultimate is very good, but you got to plus her up many turns to get there. Overall, a weak Planeswalker. This is a strong Planeswalker, but he also costs six. So unless the right type of deck... So out of these Planeswalkers, and obviously the number one war speculation, we'll get to that. Let's see. Last remaining Planeswalker. One of them will probably go up in price, and all, the rest of them will tank. What do I mean by tank? This card begins at $24.99. It's five dollars over. It's five dollars over Nohari. It is five dollars under Jace, and it's about fifteen dollars. Yeah, fifteen dollars under Arlen. So it's a very interesting price point because you have four Planeswalkers, all of them above around twenty dollars, twenty to forty dollars. They cannot possibly hold their value. All four of them cannot possibly hold their value. That's just not how stuff works. Because other people would crack boxes. Soren, I like. $25, I don't like. I think it's way too expensive. And speaking of expensive, we'll get into the last Planeswalker, Arlen. I think this, I love her. I think she's one of the strongest Planeswalkers. I'm just not impressed by her price point at $40. Out of all the cards, she has the most to lose. And I think she's going to lose at least 50% of her value. Huntmaster, which I compare very... I don't know what I would rather have in standard, Huntmaster or Arlen. It kind of depends. Huntmaster was a dominant card, but he was also the most valuable card in a very valueless set. Outside of Balia, there was no other valuable cards in Dark Ascension. I mean, I can't think of any. I guess Gravecrawler, but if that's like your most <laughs> second most valuable card, Arlen is competing against a lot of valuable cards. And I don't like that at $40 because she is not Jace and she won't, she's two colors, which limits her playability. And at the end of the day, 
is she forty dollars? I just cannot. I cannot imagine her being that much. So those are my five war speculations. Uh, leave a comment if you guys think I missed one or you feel like one of these five cards is going to spike in price. If I had to pick one, I would probably pick Nahari only because I like her so much. It's a heart pick. I'm picking from the heart. Um, the other cards just seem way overpriced right now.